Jump de jump jump jump. Here we go again. Tomorrow's another science fair and another chance for total humiliation. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Oh, no. Look at the competition. Pi and Harvey are creating cold fusion. Jim and Lisa are building a particle accelerator. And as usual, Jem smuggled in a German scientist as her lab partner. We're creating a black hole that'll, like, open into an alternate universe. Are you sure you're a junior high school student? Oh, yeah, yeah, mein hip flower power groovy mama. So big deal. There's nothing wrong with your project. Oh, right. The wonders of communication. Two soup cans and a string. My lab partner's brilliant idea. That's right, Spellman. My idea. And just because they made us lab partners doesn't mean I'm sharing first prize. <laughs> About time he beamed up to the mothership, isn't it? Hey, Sabrina, Chloe, have you seen this? <laughs> it's like the lamest project in the science fair. Oh, um, yeah. It's pretty bad, huh? Pi and me have got a wicked entry. Come on, check it out. Cool. Very cool. Cold fusion to be exact, dude and dudettes. We're gonna transfer hydrogen atoms through a super cold conductor to create an unlimited power source. Whatcha think? Well, it's no soup cans on a string, but I guess it's okay. Okay, it's so high up on the genius scale, my ears popped. Hey, what do you expect? Pi's only the smartest kid in the known universe, and Greendale. Thank you, adoring public. I'd blush if it weren't so true. Anyway, I've just got a few quantum variables left to figure out, and it's done. Hey, Pi Face! Kinkle! What do you call that piece of junk? Last chance for losers? <laughs> Uh-oh, one of the experiments got loose. <laughs> you know the rules, Kinkle. Losers forfeit their lunch. That's not my lunch. Anyone seen the moldy bread I was using for my penicillin project? <gasps> <gasps> uh, 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 uh. No! Well, the day wasn't as humiliating as I'd hoped, but at least I got barfed on by a half-wit. Oh, my tum-tum is all hurty inside. <sighs> I just can't believe it. The science fair is tomorrow, and now with Hurlboy out of action, I don't even have a partner to blame my miserable project on. Boy, Sabrina, Slugloaf got you good. Gross. Gotta admit, though, he showed some major velocity. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for your sensitivity and caring. I'm truly touched. Oh, this stupid locker's stuck again. Pi, can you? No problem, mi amiga. Our genius at work. Uh-oh, Vice Principal Peevish. Gotcha! <laughs> oh, thought you'd laugh at the law, eh? Well, mister, your skateboarding days are over. Okay, listen up. The one thing I won't tolerate in my hallways is skateboarding. This <gasps> dude hired me to keep you ragamuffins in line, so by golly, you'd all better start walking the straight and narrow, or else. Take a last look, mister, because you're heading for detention. <gasps> Boy, the new vice principal sure is tough. So is this locker, but I think I got it figured out. Must be nice to have a genius partner. <sighs> or any partner. Well, you've only got one day left, so if you can't find one, you better invent one, and fast. Phew. But maybe first you should go home at lunch and change clothes. Invent one? Hmm. Got it. Now stand back and behold a genius at work. Open sesame. I meant to do that. Salem! Ahoy there, landlubber! Just, um, explaining the food chain to our newer residents. Salem, quick! Who was the greatest inventor in history? 
No contest. The guy who invented the can opener. Salem, I'm serious. I don't know. Probably Thomas Alva Edison. Thomas Alva Edison? Of course! I should know that! Salem, I'm going to have the world's greatest lab partner. I'm going to conjure up the 12-year-old Thomas Edison from the past. With his genius, he's sure to cook up something awesome we could use to win the science fair. Hmm. Think he could invent the automatic tummy scratcher? From the eternal depths, I arise to bring forth a... Spooky, I need a spell to bring Thomas Edison forward in time. And can you hurry it up? I'm on my lunch break. Oh, by all means, skip the eloquent intro. It's all rush-rush nowadays. Here's your little spell. Of course, you realize it could disrupt the flux of the space-time continuum and mean the end of life as we know it. But hey, you're in a hurry. If genius out of time you seek to cure the invention that be weak, then let the promised medicine be young Thomas Edison. What strange dream is this? Exactly, Mr. Edison, er, Tom. It's a dream. It's a future dream where you get to go to future school and invent future stuff for a future first prize. And I'm Sabrina, your dreamy host. <gasps> and what matter of mechanical wizardry is this? You get right down to business. I like that. It's called a boombox. It plays music. You can check it out while I change my clothes. Be back in a minute. Boombox? Okay, Tom, let's go to school. Tom? Oh man, he took apart the boombox. Figures. Tom, where are you? <gasps> man, they weren't kidding when they said Edison was Mr. Curiosity. He took the whole kitchen apart. Except this. Nobody messes with my can opener. Salem, where is he? In the garage, looking at Quigley's car. Oh no! This dream is filled with wonderful devices. <gasps> Pleased to meet you, fellas. You too, ma'am. Tom's an exchange student from uh, Nova Scotia. He's real smart. Smart enough to open this locker? It's still stuck. Hmm. I'll be glad to try. Don't waste your time, my man. I tried it. It's impossible. Wow, cool move. We never thought of popping the hinges. Tom, you're a genius. Yeah, I suppose if you take the obvious route. And what is this conveyance? You don't have skateboards in Nova Scotia? Skateboard? Never heard of it. How does it operate? Come on, I'll take you to our secret spot and show you. You'll be shredding pavement in no time. Yo, Harv, man! That's our secret spot! Like, just you and me? Okay, I know you're up to something. Who is this Tom guy? Hey, weren't you just wearing headphones? Headphones? Sabrina, what are you talking about? What are headphones? Huh? Are you kidding? I mean, like these. <gasps> That's weird. Really, really weird. By moving this magnet across a coil, you can create electrical power. Magnets are good for much more than just picking things up. You're like the most amazing brainiac I have ever met. That Tom is some whiz kid, huh? Yeah, a regular Thomas Edison. Hey, Tom. I thought you were supposed to help me with my science project. Oh, but I have. I've made a batch of inventions. Great! Something I think the world is crying out for. A stagecoach speedometer. Oh, uh... And for today's rider on the move, a two-speed horseshoe organizer. Uh, look, Tom. And here's one I think you'll find particularly useful. An automatic shoe buttoner for high-button shoes. <laughs> nice, eh? Perfect. Just perfect. You're... not pleased? These are very ingenious, Tom. Honest. But see, they're kind of out of date. And unless we want to win the Weird Antique Award, I gotta find a way to clue you to what's new and current. Hey, Tom Man! Come on over and feast your brain on our project. See, these wires run, uh, 
uh, some atoms into this icebox thing, and out comes free energy and stuff. It's called fusion, new dude, which is a lot higher up the scientific scale than magnets. But won't this loop the energy back inside and cause it to overheat and explode? Please, watch and learn. Pathetic how these amateurs try to question us cutting edge researchers. <laughs> I've got to figure out some way to get Tom up to date technology wise. How about we hit the mall? That'll work. Come on. Hey, if Tom's in, I'm in. Harvester, if you can break away from the Tom fan club, you'll notice we gotta rebuild our project. Oh, yeah, right. Then after, we can show it to Tom and he can make sure it works. <laughs> Ugh. All right, Steam Boy. Pick up this mess or it's double detention. <laughs> Pictures that move? Life that dance? Where did so many wonderful inventions come from? And where exactly did he come from, Sabrina? Okay, I'm busted. He's the young Thomas Edison, and I brought him out of the past so he could compete with Jem at the science fair. The Edison? You mean the guy who invented everything? Yep, light bulbs, record players, movies, the works. Movies? What are those? Come on, quit kidding. I'm not. What are movies? Cinema, film, movies. Huh? <gasps> this is the most amazing invention yet. A sausage covered in a foam of corn. Oh, man. <laughs> Getting spooky. Spooky! Um, stay here. I gotta make a call. Salem, I think I've got a big problem. You've got problems? I just wanted to get a card game going, but I must have cast the wrong spell. I said poker, not polka. Ah! Please, Salem. What was it Spooky meant about disrupting time? Because I'm seeing movies and records and things disappear. Okay, okay. Let me look up the spell in the spell book. Hmm. A lot of warnings here. <laughs> Doom. Plague of locusts. Planets collide. What? What does it say? I'm getting to it. Let's see. Well, according to this, since you took Edison out of the 19th century, there's no one back there to invent the things he invented. Which is why they're all now going bye-bye. But once I get Tom back, everything he invented will return, right? Sorry, Kimosabe, but it's not that easy. It says here, every hour be worse, and the seventh be final. Oh man, I cast a spell at noon. It's six o'clock. Which means you've got one hour to get him back here, or all of his inventions will disappear forever, and all the inventions that came from his inventions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a solo. Where's Tom? He said he found a way to fix Harvey and Pi's science project and blazed out of here. Come on, in a hurry! Pi, I've got a great idea for your cold fusion experiment. No thanks, Mr. Pestoid. Tell it to Harvey, your fan club president. Uh, well, okay. Say, where is Harvey? He just left to do some boarding. Why don't you go find him? Hmm. Wait right here. Here! You know, you can still catch Harvey if you go that way. Oh, and be sure to make lots of noise so he'll hear you. Thanks, Pi. Oh, all right, mister. <laughs> That's it! I warned all you skateboarders! Now it's time to make an example. You're going straight to... Super Final Triple Secret Detention! Hi! Have you seen Tom? Huh? Tom just got busted! Something called a Super Final Triple Secret Detention! <gasps>
Less than an hour. We gotta find Tom now. Yes, but where on earth is Super Final Triple Secret Detention? Get sent to detention. Skateboarding in the hallway. Hey, Pi, where's your board? Uh, uh, my board? Uh, D, I don't know. Pi, why are you acting so weird? W weird? Uh, I'm not. All right, Pi, what's going on? What have you done to Tom? All right, I get it. I confess, I set him up. Oh, Pi, how could you? I'm sorry. He just showed up all brainy-like, and you guys all forgot about me. Pi, that's ridiculous. You ought to know by now how much we respect that big brain of yours. We were just helping the new guy fit in. You... you were? Sure. And just because we admire him doesn't mean we admire you any less. <laughs> For a smart guy, I guess I was pretty dumb. <laughs> Yes, you were. Now, can we please focus on finding Tom, like, now? Oh, gee, Sabrina, what's the big rush? It's because, uh, Tom has to be out of the country by 7 o'clock or his, um, exit visa expires, and he has to stay here forever! Man, Nova Scotia's a tough country. I lost him, so it's my job to find him. My tracker can pick up the homing device I've got on my skateboard. Come on, baby. Tell Papa where the big bad man took you and Tom. There! Got it! The gym! This part of my dream isn't much fun. Dream? Oh, this is no dream. Mr. Rules don't apply to me. Oh, today, you two are the opening salvos in my war of complete student body submission. Us two? I begged him to lock me away. Anything's better than one more second with that evil little child. Less than 40 minutes. Hurry! Where are we going, Sabrina? To the gym, like Pi's tracking device is telling us. What's a tracking device? <gasps> What are cars? Abandon hope, all ye who enter. Hmm. Sounds like Vice Principal Peevish to me. I know, I know. What's a light bulb? Third floor. Detention center on your right. Be sure to visit the petting zoo. But how do we get him out of there? I've got an idea. Tom, stand back. We're about to... Continued on next rock. Break you out of detention. <gasps> Jumpin' Judge Judy! Uh. It pays to watch old westerns. Hi-ho, Silver, away! <laughs> Thanks for loading me your skateboard, Pie! Uh, no problem. So long, Tom, dude! Show him how to board in Nova Scotia! Ah! Gotcha! Oh, all right, mister. You're spending the next three hours in ultra-final, quadruple secret detention. And, and even... I don't know where that is. Oh, man. It's about time. I got a microwave dinner getting cold because there's no microwaves. Yikes! One minute left! It's 
been swell, Tom, but you gotta go back to wake up from your dream before my nightmare becomes permanent. I don't think I'll ever have a more inventive dream. Oh, I think you will. Lots of inventive dreams. Phew, close call. Mm -mm. Mm, nothing like an old-fashioned microwave dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this fair has helped teach you all the importance of science and technology in our lives. It certainly has for me. But after all that trouble, I still ended up with soup cans and string. Look, Sabrina, Tom's ideas about magnetic motors got Bernard and me first place. Of course, it did help that some of the other entries didn't work out so well. <laughs> Stop circling me! Stand back! You might get caught in the gravitational pull and orbit her for years! Whoa! Whoa! 